Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 25th of 2023. Well, it is titled lightning on Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Juno spacecraft currently in orbit around Jupiter and seeing a flash of lightning that occurs there. Now, lightning is very familiar to us here on Earth as discharges within thunderstorms. And we can also find it on other objects. And in fact, we expect that lightning would exist on every other planet in the solar system with an atmosphere. And we have already detected lightning on Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. And we think it very likely that we would be able to find lightning on Venus, Uranus and Neptune as well. Now, how does lightning occur? Well, we usually get that here on Earth between water droplets that occur and separate charges. So separate positive and negative charges. And when there's a big separation of charges, they charges like to neutralize each other. So there's a very strong force between positive and negative charges, much, much greater than the gravitational force between massive objects. And therefore, they tend to discharge and neutralize each other. And that flash that we see is the lightning. And we think that the same kind of thing happens on Jupiter, that it would be some kind of discharge between clouds that contain water and ice. So the composition of many clouds on Jupiter is not all that different than clouds here on Earth. There are a few other compounds present as well, but water is very common in the outer solar system and is one of the more prominent molecules that we actually find not only in the giant planets, but also on their moons. There is a lot of water out there and water is not something unique to Earth. We find it on lots of other objects as well, including Mars and again, much further out in the solar system in places like Jupiter. Now, of course, there are other clouds there, too. We get clouds made out of ammonia, things that we don't see here on Earth. So it would be interesting to study and see what is actually happening, how the how the electrical discharges that give us the lightning are forming. It seems like Jupiter's may be relatively similar to Earth, but how do they work on the other planets and how would that help us to better understand storms here on Earth? Now Juno will be studying the dark nighttime side of Jupiter over its next few orbits over the coming months and therefore give us a chance to hopefully get more views of lightning on Jupiter and a better understanding of this process. So that was our picture of the day for June 25th of 2023. It was titled lightning on Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be mountains below Venus. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.